Hello, beautiful people. My name is Stacia. It's nice to meet you. Thank you for visiting my channel. I know that um, if you're here, you're here for a reason. I know that the Lord brought you here because the enemy definitely doesn't want you here. I have walked very closely with the Lord, with, with Jesus Christ, Messiah, Yeshua HaMashiach. I gave him my entire life. Um, and I didn't, well, I did look back a few times. I've, I've um, I'm going to keep this short. Father God, I just ask for your anointing to be upon this message, this introduction, and that you just lead, you lead, Father God. Everyone here, Father, just cover and plead the blood of Jesus over them. And give me your anointing to speak what you want me to speak. Move me out of the way, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Okay. I have a few words for, from the Lord for you all. I was um, planning an introduction video uh, to my channel, and he's just kind of been downloading things into my spirit. So I made some notes. Um, I'm just going to start with that, and we're just going to we're just going to let the Holy Spirit have reign and dominion here. That's what this channel's for. It's about Him. It's it's about Him, and um, I'm just a vessel. I'm just someone um, that he he got out of the pit. I was deep, deep, deep in the pit. And um, he saved me. And he's been changing me and guiding me and directing me ever since. He's my best friend, and I gave, I gave him everything. I gave him everything. I've died to, to my old self. And I believe it was in March, February or March of this year. I, I'd have to look at my notes. He uh, gave me a new name. And my old name was Stacy. A lot of you that knew me um, as Stacy, uh, my name is uh, Stacia. And um, he gave me that name. He confirms me. No, no man, no woman confirms me. He confirms me. He guides me. He directs me. And he, he's just, he's amazing. And he has so much beauty that he wants to give us. He has so much beauty that He wants to give you. You were created for more, much, much more than what the world tells us. We were created for a purpose. We were ordained for a heavenly purpose here on earth. A lot of you Christians are sitting around waiting to be raptured. But you got work to do here first. Yeah, you have work to do here first. Yeah, we can't believe what the, what the media tells us. We can't believe what the, what the church buildings tell us. We've got to be the temple. We've got to be the temple. And we've got to confirm the word through the Holy Spirit. Spirit speaks to spirit. Flesh speaks to flesh. We've got to confirm the word through the Holy Scriptures. We've got to let the Holy Spirit have dominion. We, he gets all the glory. We are just His mouthpiece, His vessels. And we've got to clean these vessels. We've got to clean them and clean them and clean them and clean them. And don't stop cleaning them. Yeah, once... Once you're delivered, you still need to go through self-deliverance. Okay, I'm going to get into a sermon. I'm going to stop right there. Let me grab my notes. Okay, the first thing he said, Papa God said to tell you all, is that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. And that is in Psalms 139.14. He wants you to meditate on the entire scripture that was just part of it so you guys look that up psalms 139 14 we are i mean just think of the human body how we're made it's it's a miracle i mean there's no way we came from a big bang no way yeah you guys don't need that any man or woman should teach you. Let the Holy Spirit teach you and confirm all things through the Holy Scriptures. Yeah, don't believe these religious spirits floating around. They lie. They want you far, far, far from your Heavenly Father. And He wants you in the garden. He wants you in the garden walking with Him. The Scripture says He will hold our right hand. Yeah. Oh, He's amazing. He's absolutely amazing. Okay, and the second thing he wants you to know, he wants to see you, oh, and I kind of said this earlier, he wants to see you all succeed in life, 
Oh, and attain many crowns. He has many crowns stored up for us. Yeah. I mean, just look at nature. Look at beauty. Look at, look at, look at the sky. Look at the trees. Look at the flowers. He made all that. He made it for us. He made it for us. Okay, and the next thing he wants, he wants you to, he wants you to know that some of you have been warring incorrectly. I'm very guilty of that myself. And Ephesians 6, 10 through 20. Um, we wrestle against, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. That's part of the verse. So Ephesians 6, 10 through 20. And he wants you to meditate on that. Read that, meditate on it. Get it deep down in you. Get those roots growing, growing in him so that the enemy can't keep smacking you around and slamming you to the ground. You know how to fight. You know how to fight correctly. The world doesn't teach us how to fight in the spirit. The world teaches us how to fight in the world. We're not of the world. If we have come to Jesus Christ and he is our our king of kings, he is the one true king of Israel, uh, Yeshua HaMashiach, if, if you have surrendered your life to him, we don't fight like the world. Yeah, we gotta we gotta bind our flesh to the blood, to the blood of Jesus. And we gotta not speak from our from our fleshly nature. You always have to contend with your flesh. But it gets easier. Yeah, your spirit will override. Once you once you walk in the spirit and you keep walking in the spirit and you keep walking in the spirit and you keep walking in the spirit, your your spirit overrides your flesh. That's why we fast. That's why we weaken ourselves. We weaken this, this stuff, this capsulated stuff that we're in. There's a beautiful spirit. There's, there's a beauty inside of you that is just groaning and moaning to come out. Yeah. And, and be who you're called to be. Okay. And, oh, this was some notes that I made. I'm trying to keep this short. Um, so I decided to take notes to keep myself on point. And, um, okay, I already kind of said that. I surrendered my heart, my mind, my body to, to the Lord. Um, I backslid um, years ago pretty, pretty, pretty bad. Um, yeah, I've hurt a lot of people along the way. Yeah which I know we all have. We've all sinned. We all fall short of the glory of God. And I just, uh, I just pray that if there's anybody on this channel that I have hurt in the past, I just ask that you, you open your heart to forgive. You forgive me. And um, I just declare, and I've, I've prayed many, many times and grieved with the Spirit, the Holy Spirit and Father. And I just, um, I just speak blessings over you and your families. And I just ask that you have a forgiving heart and forgive me. And I'm going to keep going. Let's see. Five years ago, Father God gave me a, a new measure of His Holy Spirit. And that's when I stepped into the secret place. Yeah. I was I've literally been hidden. I've been hidden um, with Messiah, like, so, like Psalm 91 says, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Yeah, I know how to live in that shadow of the Almighty. Yeah. I walk amongst other people. I live just like you in the, in the world, but I'm not of the world. I am not of the, of the world. And He has miraculously guided me and changed me. We'll get into all that. Okay. Let's see. Since coming back to Christ five years ago, wholeheartedly and being touched with the Holy Spirit, He, he put a hunger and a thirst of, of righteousness in me. And to most people around me, I looked crazy. They, um, they would mock me, make fun of me. Um... Yeah, I walked away from all of them. Yeah, and, and um, 
I pray for them and I love them from afar. I love them in my prayers. But I literally had to had to give everybody to him. And I just started afresh. And it's been the most beautiful thing I could have ever done. I know that, that my prayers are being heard. He confirms them. He confirms with signs and wonders. There's going to be lots of videos on this channel. Some I've recorded over the last five years of, of those signs and wonders. Um, yeah, mostly my gift for this channel is, is I have walked through the sanctification furnaces of affliction. I have, I have wept a mountain of tears over the years. I have grieved in the Holy Spirit. Um, I have changed myself through Him. And I, I have um, books that I'm writing. I have projects that we're working on. And um, we all need to unite. We need to unite. We each have a gift, a calling on us. And 